January 29, 2024 Daily Bread Passage Judges chapter 9 Verse 22 to verse 57 Key verse 56 Title God Avenges Gideon's Sons After Abimelech had governed Israel three years, God stirred up animosity between Abimelech and the citizens of Shechem, so that they acted treacherously against Abimelech. God did this in order that the crime against Jerubbaal's seventy sons, the shedding of their blood, might be avenged on their brother Abimelech and on the citizens of Shechem, who had helped him murder his brothers. In opposition to him, these citizens of Shechem set men on the hilltops to ambush and rob everyone who passed by. And this was reported to Abimelech. Now Gael, son of Ebed, moved with his clan into Shechem, and its citizens put their confidence in him. After they had gone out into the fields and gathered the grapes and trodden them, they held a festival in the temple of their god. While they were eating and drinking, they cursed Abimelech. Then Gael, son of Ebed, said, Who is Abimelech, and why should we Shechemites be subject to him? Isn't he Jerub Baal's son, and isn't Zebul his deputy? Serve the family of Hamor, Shechem's father. Why should we serve Abimelech? If only this people were under my command, then I would get rid of him. I would say to Abimelech, Call out your whole army. When Zebul, the governor of this city, heard what Gael, son of Ebed, said, he was very angry. Under cover, he sent messengers to Abimelech, saying, Gael, son of Ebed, and his clan have come to Shechem and are stirring up the city against you. Now then, during the night, you and your men should come and lie in wait in the fields. In the morning, at sunrise, advance against the city. When Gael and his men come out against you, seize the opportunity to attack them. So Abimelech and all his troops set out by night and took up concealed positions near Shechem in four companies. Now Gael, son of Ebed, had gone out and was standing at the entrance of the city gate just as Abimelech and his troops came out from their hiding place. When Gael saw them, he said to Zebul, Look, People are coming down from the tops of the mountains. Sibyl replied, You mistake the shadows of the mountains for men. But Gail spoke up again. Look, people are coming down from the central hill, and a company is coming from the direction of the diviner's tree. Then Sibyl said to him, Where is your big talk now? You who said, Who is Abimelech, that we should be subject to him? Aren't these the men you ridiculed? Go out and fight them. So Gael led out the citizens of Shechem and fought Abimelech. Abimelech chased him all the way to the entrance of the gate, and many were killed as they fled. Then Abimelech stayed in Aramah, and Zebul drove Gael and his clan out of Shechem. The next day, the people of Shechem went out to the fields, and this was reported to Abimelech. So he took his men divided them into three companies, and set an ambush in the fields. When he saw the people coming out of the city, he rose to attack them. Abimelech and the companies with him rushed forward to a position at the entrance of the city gate. Then two companies attacked those in the fields and struck them down. All that day, Abimelech pressed his attack against the city until he had captured it and killed its people. Then he destroyed the city and scattered salt over it. On hearing this, the citizens in the tower of Shechem went into the stronghold of the temple of el Berith. When Abimelech heard that they had assembled there, he and all his men went up to Mount Zalman. He took an axe and cut off some branches, which he lifted to his shoulders. He ordered the men with him, Quick, do what you have seen me do. So all the men cut branches and followed Abimelech. They piled them against the stronghold and set it on fire with the people still inside. 
So all the people in the tower of Shechem, about a thousand men and women, also died. Next, Abimelech went to Thebes and besieged it and captured it. Inside the city, however, was a strong tower to which all the men and women, all the people of the city had fled. They had locked themselves in and climbed up on the tower roof. Abimelech went to the tower and attacked it, but as he approached the entrance to the tower to set it on fire, a woman dropped an upper millstone on his head and cracked his skull. Hurriedly, he called to his armor-bearer, Draw your sword and kill me, so that they can't say a woman killed him. So his servant ran him through, and he died. When the Israelites saw that Abimelech was dead, they went home. Thus God repaid the wickedness that Abimelech had done to his father by murdering his seventy brothers. God also made the people of Shechem pay for all their wickedness. The curse of Jotham, son of Jerubbaal, came on them. Daily Bread Message Three years into Abimelech's reign, God stirred up animosity among the people of Shechem. God did this to avenge the deaths of Gideon's sons. The people began to resent Abimelech as their king. Led by Gael, son of Ebed, they conspired against the king. Gael, son of Ebed, boasted, If only these people were under my command, then he would get rid of Abimelech. When word reached Abimelech, he arranged an ambush against Gael and chased them out of Shechem. He continued attacking the people as they worked in the fields. Then he mercilessly set fire to the tower of Shechem, killing a thousand who had taken refuge there. Abimelech tried this in another town, but a woman dropped a large millstone on his head, and he died. God repaid the wickedness of Abimelech and the people of Shechem for the murder of Gideon's sons. It happened as Jotham has said. Prayer Lord, you are a just God. Bless me to always wait on you and trust in your judgment and your salvation. One word, God will repay.